What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and today, yet again, we have some awesome updates about Spider-Man 4. Ah! the next Spider-Man film coming in the MCU, and recently it's been revealed that Tom Holland has signed another contract to play Spider-Man in the MCU for three more Spider-Man films and then three other films as well. We know two of these are going to be Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars, of course, but that last one remains to be seen. But in the meantime, like I said, we have a little bit of details about what to expect from that first movie of the new Spider-Man trilogy, Spider-Man 4. And it does look like Sony and Marvel Studios might be making some kind of an announcement soon about Spider-Man 4. So we'll go over some details we've heard about the plot for Spider-Man 4, including Peter Parker possibly working at the Daily Bugle, and the more grounded story to expect from Spider-Man 4, and when to expect an official announcement about Spider-Man 4. We'll talk about all of that in this video. But first, big thank you to Kamikoto for sponsoring today's video. If you love to cook, whether that's professionally as a chef or just simply at your home making your own meals, I promise these knives are perfect for you. Kamikoto knives are made with high quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques. Each Kamikoto knife goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish to complete. Each knife is individually inspected before it gets shipped out and comes with a lifetime guarantee. And the knives come in a heavy duty ash wood box, which makes it a great present, especially with Christmas and the holidays coming up. The first time I ever used a Kamikoto knife, I was seriously impressed. While cutting food, I didn't really have to push the knife through my food, rather it just kind of glided through it, giving it a perfect cut. And the reason is, the Kamikoto knives use single bevel edge, which means Kamikoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge you just can't get with other knives. Kamikoto only uses steel sourced from mills in Japan, and each blade is crafted using techniques that have been honed and perfected by generations of knife smiths for over 800 years. In fact, Kamikoto knives are used by Michelin star chefs from all over the world. And right now, Kamikoto is running a massive Black Friday sale and is offering my viewers an extra 50 US dollars off of any purchase with the discount code Cosmic Wonder. So you can go to kamikoto.com slash the cosmic wonder right now to get these amazing knives and help support the channel. So right now it's pretty much been figured out that the release date for Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland in the MCU, not to be mistaken with a possible Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 4, is going to be July 12th of 2024. That's a little bit over a year and a half away, and that's really good news because one, we don't have to wait so long for the next Spider-Man film, but two, that means everything with production has to start relatively soon for this movie, which means a lot of information about this film will come out relatively soon. Most fans know how it is when pre-production begins, leaks start happening, when filming starts, set photos get taken, they get put out to the public, plus not to mention the studio teases us as well, Tom Holland actually gets very involved in teasing upcoming Spider-Man projects, it's a lot of fun, and he's not spoiling things anymore, so he's really learned to have fun with it. And that all should happen relatively soon. And like I said, Sony might actually be planning something. It was recently announced by Sony that they would be attending CCXP. However, as of the past couple of days, Sony has removed the fact that they are going to be attending CCXP from all of their social media and websites. It is still on the CCXP website, but Sony removed all of the stuff that they posted about it. This could be because Sony is actually planning some big announcement that they could be doing on their own. Sony does have a history of revealing pretty big things at CCXP, specifically for Spider-Man in the past. So it does seem like Sony is planning something, either a possible announcement at CCXP this year, which is December 1st through December 4th, or perhaps they pulled out of CCXP so they could do something hand in hand with Marvel Studios. But either way, it could be possible, not saying it's for sure, but it could be possible that Sony and Marvel Studios are planning some sort of a Spider-Man 4 announcement in the next couple of months. And of course, I'll be sure to do an update video if I hear anything, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now moving on to what we could actually be seeing in Spider-Man 4, yesterday Paul over at Heavy Spoilers, a friend of the channel, released a video talking about some things you could expect to see from Avengers Secret Wars and Spider-Man 4. Yesterday we covered the Secret Wars part, today let's cover the Spider-Man 4 part. Now, the first thing he talks about is something that we've been talking about for a while on the channel, and that is the next film won't actually feature the Venom symbiote suit, despite the last Spider-Man film teasing Venom in the MCU. 
Paul has heard that they are putting this on the back burner for now, but it still could be possible that the reason they're putting it on the back burner is because they want to introduce it in Secret Wars, because in the comics, Spider-Man originally gets the Venom symbiote suit for the first time in Secret Wars. Now, as far as the story goes, Paul does say that it is going to be more of a grounded story, more like what we saw in Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, this makes sense, and this is actually going to be really cool to see because Peter Parker is now going to be in college. At the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, we saw him studying a GED book. This is because the whole world forgot who Peter Parker was, so Peter Parker no longer exists in reality, which means he no longer has a diploma, which means he is no longer a high school graduate. So Peter is going to have to take the GED so he can now apply for colleges. But considering the fact that Peter Parker is such a genius that he was able to use math to defeat Doctor Strange in the mirror dimension, I think he'll be alright. He might not get into MIT anymore, he might have to go to maybe a community college in New York, but regardless, we will see him in college in Spider-Man 4. And oddly enough, we haven't heard much about Zendaya or Jacob Batalon returning. I think it would be really weird if they didn't include them in this new trilogy. Yes, you could end that story with the two of them at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, where Peter Parker decides that he truly has to let them go for their own safety. After all, the two of them are going to MIT, which is in Massachusetts. Not that it's that far from New York, but this could be an opportunity to introduce new characters to the MCU, like Gwen Stacy. Also, Miles Morales could be making his way to the MCU to take the place of Peter Parker's Spider-Man after he is gone. If MJ and Ned don't return, and even if they do return, it's still a great opportunity to introduce these new characters. Now, as far as the villain is concerned, Paul thinks we might circle back to Scorpion, finally having that Spider-Man post credit scene that teased Scorpion pay off. Now, of course, we know at this point that Sony kind of blends their Spider-Man universes together, and that might not ever pay off, but they could simply never use him or use him as a part of their Sony Spider-Man universe. But considering the fact that this movie is supposed to be more grounded, having Scorpion as a villain would make sense. Now, speaking of it being more grounded, Peter Parker is going to have to find a job. He no longer has the help of pretty much anybody. Remember, nobody knows who Peter Parker is, but they still remember Spider-Man. Remember at the end of No Way Home, JJJ is still thinking that Spider-Man is a menace. However, he doesn't know now that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Nobody does. So this could lead us to a classic Spider-Man storyline of Peter Parker working at the Daily Bugle, taking pictures of Spider-Man slash himself. This is something that we haven't had in the MCU yet that is very classic Spider-Man, and I personally would love to see it. Now, it makes perfect sense for them to go this story route, plus also they could then introduce Eddie Brock, and this could then set up the fifth Spider-Man film to introduce the Venom symbiote, since Peter Parker is most likely going to get the Venom symbiote during Secret Wars, which will take place between Spider-Man 4 and 5. So we could get a tease for Eddie Brock in Spider-Man 4, him working at the Daily Bugle, then in Avengers Secret Wars, Peter gets the Venom symbiote suit, uses it to help defeat Kang or Doctor Doom or whoever is going to be the main big bad. Bad. then in Spider-Man 5, he gets rid of the suit, the suit hates him, then finds Eddie Brock, and then we get a classic Venom versus Spider-Man storyline. Not like the story that they're doing in the Sony Spider-Man universe right now. And on top of all of this, they are definitely going to be building up the street-level Avengers team. And since it's rumored that Tom Holland just signed on for six more movies and we only know five of them, that could be the sixth movie in this contract. We get Spider-Man 4, then we get the King Dynasty, Avengers Secret Wars, Spider-Man 5, Spider-Man Six, and then a street-level Avengers team-up film. It's been rumored that moving forward, Spider-Man is going to deal with some of the events that will happen during the Daredevil series. I'm assuming this is Kingpin, who of course is a classic Spider-Man villain. So I'm assuming at some point in time, since Marvel Studios knows we want this, Daredevil and Spider-Man will team up, most likely with other street-level heroes like She-Hulk and maybe some of the other Defenders as well. And this big team-up could be the last time that we see Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the MCU. And if that is true, hopefully he does pass the mantle down to somebody like Miles Morales. And so far, that's basically what we know about Spider-Man 4. And if this is what to expect from Spider-Man 4 and the rest of the Spider-Man films moving forward, I gotta tell you, I'm really excited, but hey, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Spider-Man news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.